Good evening, I'm Alana Neal in the Daily Iowa Newsroom with a summary of today's news. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton is stopping by Iowa again this week. I'll tell you how one playful night of fireworks turned fatal over the weekend. And the latest in sports news. All of this and more, Daily Iowa TV starts now. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton plans a return to Iowa this Tuesday. This will make it Hillary's fourth trip to Iowa since she has announced she is running for president in early April. Two of those events have been invitation only. She will be meeting at, at the Iowa City Public Library and the event is public. The event will be her second public appearance in Iowa. The first one was at an Iowa State Fairgrounds in Des Moines just last month. The former U.S. Senator's campaign plans to hold more public appearances and work in support of the Iowa's first in the nation caucuses. Two-year-old Briley Morgan from Waterloo, Iowa drowned Saturday afternoon during a family gathering in Wisconsin. Authorities say Morgan's family was preparing for a group picture on an island in Wisconsin when Morgan, who had been wearing a life jacket previous to the incident and took it off briefly for the photo, her and her mother went to retrieve an item from the boat. Morgan's mother later found her daughter under the boat in the water. Streets were blocked off this weekend for Iowa City's 25th Annual Jazz Festival. Part of Iowa City's Summer of Arts Festival series began Thursday and ended late Saturday. Attendees shared interest in jazz performances on the main stage near the old Capitol building, along with their love for music and even food. This kicked off prior to the start of the fireworks Saturday night, where dozens of people gathered around to watch the sparks in the sky, celebrating Independence Day. And now for a quick look at this week's weather. While today was nice and sunny, tomorrow it looks like the thunderstorms are back and they look slightly severe with a high of 86 degrees. Tuesday, however, the rain will clear up with just cloudy skies and a high of 73 degrees. Wednesday, the sun will peak out of the clouds for just a little while with temperatures in the low 70s. But you can expect a little bit of rain later that night and that rain will turn into more thunderstorms for Thursday and Friday. But we are ending on a good note as Saturday, the sun will be back again with a high of 85 degrees. The surviving escapee from the New York prison, 35-year-old David Sweat, will now spend 23 hours a day in a maximum security swell. cell. Sweat, who is serving time for killing a sheriff's deputy, will join about 150 men in the special housing unit. The prisoner will spend nearly all of his time and daily activities in the 105-square-foot cell that contains a bed, sink, and a shower. Authorities said Sweat and another prisoner cut through their adjoining walls over a period of several months, climbed down a catwalk tunnel, and stole, st stole tools to break through a brick wall to escape the prison. Sweat's partner was shot and killed by the Border Patrol team caught up to him late last month. While celebrating Independence Day can be all fun and games, fireworks can be dangerous when not handled properly. 22-year-old Devin Staples had been out with his friends drinking and set off fireworks in his hometown of Maine City, Callis, when he launched a firework off the top of his head, resulting in an instant death. Staples' death is the first firework accident in Maine since the state legalized fireworks in 2002. And in sports news, Primetime League is off to an exciting start this summer. Check out the Daily Iowa Sports section tomorrow for more highlights. Well, that's all I have for you today on Daily Iowan TV. Be sure to watch tomorrow or front to find out the latest news or check us out anytime online at dailyiowan.com. Thanks for tuning in and have a good night.